Hey everyone, it's Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today we are making the best chili recipe. I know that most of my recipes are sweet recipes, but this chili recipe is possibly one of the ones I am most proud of on my whole blog. This recipe has won dozens of cook-offs. It's received tons of rave reviews. I am so happy with this recipe and so excited to be sharing it with you today. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is one of the ingredients that I think really helps set this chili apart from every other one out there, and that is bacon. You're going to need five strips of bacon, and you want to go ahead and cut these up into small bite-sized pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to add this to a large pot or a Dutch oven. We're going to turn our heat to medium and cook the bacon until it's nice and crisp. Once your bacon is nice and crisp, we're going to transfer that to a paper towel lined plate. We're just going to take it out of the pot and we're going to set it aside for now. Now you're going to have some bacon grease left in your pot and you don't want to drain that. At least you don't want to drain all of it. You want to leave behind about one and a half tablespoons of grease because cooking our chili in that bacon grease also helps give it that great flavor. Now you're going to keep your heat on medium and we're going to add one large diced yellow onion and one diced red pepper. Cook your pepper and onions until they're nice and softened. It's gonna take about three to five minutes. Once your veggies are nice and soft, we're going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic and you're just gonna cook this until it's nice and fragrant. That'll only take about 30 seconds. Once you can smell that garlic cooking, we're going to add our ground beef. You'll need a pound of ground beef and we're gonna cook this, breaking it apart with our spatula as it cooks. So once your ground beef is about halfway cooked, it's about 50% browned, now you're going to want to add your spices. Now adding them at this point really helps them cook into the flavor of the meat. It really helps give this chili a good flavor. We're gonna start with one tablespoon of firmly packed light brown sugar. And we're going to be adding a tablespoon each of chili powder and ancho chili powder. I really like the subtly sweet, smoky flavor that ancho chili powder adds, but if you don't have it on hand, you can just sub that out for regular chili powder. We're also adding one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder, three fourths teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half teaspoon of salt, and just a pinch of cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna use an eighth teaspoon. Now stir everything together, get these spices nicely distributed in with that ground beef as it continues to cook and brown. Once your ground beef is cooked through, now we can add the rest of our ingredients. You need one and a fourth cups of beef broth, and a 15 ounce can each of dark red kidney beans and black beans. You just wanna drain these really well and lightly rinse them before adding to your chili. We're also adding a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, and you do not need to drain these. A fourth cup of tomato paste, a seven ounce can of fire roasted diced green chilies, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. We're also going to add back in that cooked bacon from earlier, and we're just gonna stir everything together and bring it to a nice boil. Now stir the chili frequently while you're cooking it, and once it comes to a boil, you're going to want to let it boil for about one to two minutes, and then we can go ahead and reduce the heat and bring it to a simmer. You'll simmer this chili for about 30 minutes. You can leave it uncovered, and you're going to want to make sure you stir it occasionally. This 30 minute simmering period is where your flavor is really going to develop, so don't skip this. Okay, chili is done simmering. The house smells amazing. I'm hungry, so let's go ahead and dig in. This chili is perfectly good served as is, but I personally love topping mine off with sour cream or shredded cheese, and that's what I'm gonna be doing for dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this award-winning, multiple cook-off winning chili recipe, and if you try it out, please let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm. That's good. Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's award-winning chili recipe, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, here are a few others you might like as well.